30 Wood County Sheriff's deputies have been vaccinated against COVID-19 and hundreds of thousands more Ohioans will become eligible to get vaccinated Thursday. Included in that will be corrections officers, but not included are inmates. Tyler Paley explains tonight why Governor DeWine's decision is at odds with federal health guidance. On Monday, Governor Mike DeWine touted the tens of thousands of doses headed to the Buckeye State. Many will head to jails and prisons, but by and large, they won't be given to prisoners. This puts Ohio way out of step with federal guidance and the majority of other states. It's true. The CDC is urging states to vaccinate staff and inmates at the same time due to their high risk. According to the COVID Prison Project, which is run by scientists across the country, 24 states prioritized inmate vaccinations. Ohio is one of them, but here's the rub. They'll only be vaccinated if they meet Ohio's age or medical eligibility requirements. The virus comes into the prison by people who work there uh, or people who are delivering something. And that's the only way it can come in. The thing is guards also come out from the, the prison and, and, and bring disease in the prison out to the public. So vaccinating prison stuff is just not enough. Wood County Sheriff Mark Vosilishin agrees it's not enough, but he says until supply increases, it would be challenging to vaccinate every inmate at his jail because they only average a six day incarceration. It would not be difficult for us to vaccinate the inmates we have today. The problem is if they need a second vaccine, which uh, all of them but the Johnson need that second one, they may or may not still be here three weeks from now. So where would they go to get their second shot? The solution, the CDC says, is working closely with local health departments to coordinate those secondary doses. The only answer I would see the easiest for jails would be when the, when the supply is there, to just vaccinate everyone that comes in uh, with, with the one time Johnson. But that won't happen yet. It remains unclear when Ohio's incarcerated population will make the cut. Reporting, Tyler Paley, WTOL 11. And the COVID prison project says as of today, 134 Ohio inmates have died from COVID along with 10 prison staff members.